This video is for the Scratch Project Assignment 5, Share and Receive Feedback. Um, first, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the sprite that you control with your arrow keys. And then what you're going to do is scroll down um, toward the bottom of the code. And then um, you're going to see the last if block. You're going to put your pointer on the last if block, two finger click on your touchpad and choose duplicate. And then you're going to put the duplicated blocks um, directly underneath the previous if block. Um, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, put in a new score. So we're going to say um, something higher than the previous one. So for example, I had said if score equals 10 broadcast level 3, I'm going to go with if score equals 15. And then I'm going to click in the drop down um, in that last broadcast and I'm going to choose new message. And then I'm going to type in the word winner and click OK. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a sprite that says you win. Um, so what we're going to do is rest your pointer on the choose a sprite button and choose the paintbrush. And then from here, we're going to click on the T on the left, and then we're going to type in you win. And then, um, you know, if you want to change the font or the color or the size, you can go ahead and do that. Um, anyway, so then next what we're going to do is click on the code tab to code the you win sprite. We're going to do that by clicking on events and then click and drag the when flag clicked. And then you're also going to click and drag the when I receive block as well. And then you're going to um, change it so that it says when I receive winner. So anyway next what you're going to do is you're going to click on looks and then we're going to um, just go ahead and scroll down a little bit so that we see the show and hide blocks um, you're going to drag the hide to go on to when flag clicked and then you're going to drag the show to when i receive winner next what you're going to do is you're going to make your game end so you're going to click on your character sprite that you control with the arrow keys which should be the one on the left and then you're going to click on the control menu and then from here you're going to click and drag a wait one second block to go under broadcast winner so right here directly under broadcast winner and then we're going to um, scroll down in the control menu, click and drag a stop all to go directly under the wait one second block. So that's gonna go right there. Um, next, what we're going to do is you probably just want to test out your game by clicking the green flag and make sure everything works the way that you want it to. Um, but anyway, so then what we're going to do is um, we're going to confirm your email so that you can save it. So I'm just going to, um, or share it rather. So I'm just going to click on save now. Um, and then I'm going to click on my username in the top right corner. And then from here, what you're going to do is click on account settings. And next you're going to click on email. And then what you're going to do is click on um, the orange send button or resend button. Um, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, open up a new tab and you're gonna click on Gmail. And then from here, there should be an email that's from scratch that says to confirm your email address. So you're going to go ahead and click on that email and then from here, you're going to scroll down a little bit and click on confirm my email address. All right, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click back to your original scratch tab. And then um, you're going to click on the folder. And then you're going to click on the See Inside button to get back to your project. Then from here, what you're going to do is um, you're going to click on the Share button up at the top. All right, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on See Inside. 
and then you're going to click on this icon um, in the top right corner and that's going to show your game in full screen. Um, so then what you're going to do is you're going to click the URL up at the top to highlight it and then you're going to hit Control c on your keyboard. Next what you're going to do is you're going to um, go into Google Drive. So if you have Google Drive open in another tab, um, you can go ahead and do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the word Scratch Games. And then what should happen is um, a slideshow should appear when you search for Scratch Games. It's just taking a moment for it to load. Okay, there it is. Um, so then from here, you're gonna click on that slideshow. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and find the last slide. Okay, so you're gonna click on the last slide and then you're going to click on the plus sign. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to add your name. Um, and then just put in something like scratch game. And then click where it says click to add text. And then you're gonna type in game link. And then you're going to hit control V on your keyboard and that's going to paste your game link. Um, so then hit the space bar to turn it into an actual link. So then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click back over to the Google Drive tab and click on New and then More and then Google Forms. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, add your partner as a collaborator. So you click on the three dots, click on Add Collaborators. And then from here, what you'll do is you'll type in your partner's email address um, under invite people. So you would just type it in and then click on send. Um, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to add a title where it says untitled form. Um, and we're just gonna type in something like scratch feedback. And then from here, what you're going to do is where it says untitled question, you're just gonna type in something like, what did you like most about our game? And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, add another question by clicking on the plus sign. And then you're going to type in something like, um, what can we improve? And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, click on, um, just scroll up to the top and you're gonna click on the gear up at the top. And then you're going to check the box next to collect email addresses and click save at the bottom. Then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the I up at the top and that's going to um, open up the actual form that people would fill in. You're going to um, just go ahead and click on the URL up at the top of that new tab, and then you're gonna hit Control C on your keyboard. Next, what you're going to do is you're gonna click back over to the Scratch Games tab, and um, you're going to just go ahead and hit Enter, and then um, type in something like Feedback Link and then hit Control V on your keyboard and that's gonna paste the feedback link and then hit the space bar. Um, and so then people will be able to play your game and give you feedback and that's it.